Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick back again with some more of The Evil Within 2. Last time we were in an area kind of like hell, apparently. And we're trying to survive. We have more pistol rounds, though. And apparently some herbs, everything good in here. This kind of reminds me of the... The uh, bottom of the um, the mental hospital, the mental beacon or whatever hospital that we were in so long ago. Looks like we might have to drop some blood or something into this thing to get everything going. Probably get attacked from everyone as well. Let's see what happens here. Doors open things. Okay, and that kind of looks right on the end. We might need to move the middle. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Let's see here. That might work though. And we just come here. Move this back. It's not enough, though. Probably the other way. Something like that, yeah, because those look like they're pretty much on. Looks like we needed this switch completely. Something like that. And then what do you move? Oh, okay. So this one's just a move. That one, okay. This is pretty easy, I just kind of didn't know what we were doing. Right there. And you... That should do it right there. Making it work. Maybe. Doors are gonna open. That's some fancy shit, though, you know, to get them to figure out how to open a door with a certain amount of liquid in a, uh, you know, in these weird. Cut outs in the ground. I mean, that's impressive. I mean, shit, you deserve a medal from doing that. Alright, but let's see what we got here. Pretty wide area. A lot of cut up bodies that look like they've been eaten on. Uh oh. I think we're gonna get attacked here. Sebastian Castellanos, you've finally come. I've been waiting for you. Who the hell are you? My followers call me Father Theodore. I hope that you will call me that too, Fred. Another lunatic with a god complex, huh? I already killed one of you today. Of course you did. That is how you deal with every challenge in your life. 
life. Through brute force and intimidation. And look where it has led you. Into a hell of your own making. Lower your weapon. Use your mind instead of your fists for once. We have the same goal, Sebastian. We can help each other. Join me. You will be reunited with your daughter. And I will have the power of the core. I already know who has Lily. Yes. And Myra won't give her up so easily. What? Where are they? I wish that I could tell you. But you are not ready. You must be folded into my flock before I can share that knowledge. I said tell me where she is! Accept my invitation. I can lead you away from your own darkness. I can lead you to Lily. Sorry, I'm not a follower. So be it. Have so much pain, the events of the past haunt your every moment. I showed you the path here. You must learn that I am here to help. Return to me willingly. Then we can assume our natural roles. Not as adversaries, but as allies. Farewell for now, Sebastian. woke up. About time. I could use a little help here. You know how to use a gun, right? Take that side. Keep shooting until they're dead or we run out of ammo. Pretty much telling us what we need to know. There's a woman. What the hell is going on here? Hidden from the start. Oh. Sure. Oh, damn woman. Yep. Just try not to run into him. You shooting over there now or what? Too many times to count. Oh, getting more pistol rounds. I can hear more coming. All right. But I'm getting some answers when this is all over. Kick that down so we have that later. More shotgun shells. Perfect. That's what I want. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, you, you threw them in that fire, though, and I'm over here. Oh, are they coming through here now? Yes, they are. Shotgun might be good here. Can you reload? And shoot him in the butt. Need that brain. Not so bad yourself. Love my pistol in this game. Shit, they're everywhere. Don't let them gang up on you. Oh shit, the woman. Oh, where'd she come from? She must come from like behind or something. She's glitching through the wall. Got him. 
with our health like this, we do have a medical syringe right behind me. Hey, what the hell is that noise? Oh shit! Watch out! Who's coming? Oh, that thing! What are these things? It doesn't matter. Just kill them. Hate these things. They're so nasty. Yeah, let her waste some rounds into them. Shit, these things just won't stop coming. Got him. Okay, he's dead. Let me actually use another syringe since we have one here. I think that's the last of them. Yeah, I have no idea where we're at though. Come on, we gotta keep moving. This way. Let me make sure everything's good. Another syringe there. We don't need. We don't need the bottle. More handgun rounds, though. Don't mind me. Looks like we might get attacked again. Shotgun shells. Thanks. Don't know if I could have done that on my own. I'm Esmeralda Torres. I'm Sebastian. I know. You do? It looks like we got him for now. We should make a move before more show up. How did I wind up here? And who are you? No time for 20 questions. My safe house isn't too far. We can talk on the way there. Come on. All right, another There's ally. Whatever you need inside. I'll be out here. Follow Torres to her safe house. Yeah, because they might help us more than that religious guy. I feel like that religious cult guy might not be a good idea. Try to stay quiet. There might be more of those things. You can at least tell me how you know my name. Kidman told me to keep an eye out for you. Kidman? Uh, she said she would try to get your help if the plan went to shit. And here you are, so... Wait. I'm lost. What plan? Getting Lily out of here. And then, taking Mobius down for good. Interesting. Wait a second. What is it? Oh, hold on. I want to wait. <laughs> I need to get this. I'd rather trust Kidman than the religious guy. Shit. Let me guess. The way back to your safe house? <sighs> there might be another way. Come on. Can you give me wait, an assault rifle? Your plan. Kidman didn't say anything about that. Yeah, well, I'm sure she wasn't able to debrief you on that in front of everybody. Over here. One of us has got a lift while the other one crawls through. Got it. I'll now just. Get under. <laughs> Whoa, you all right? Let Get me your help. ass through before I drop it on your head. Okay, I've got it. Uh, thanks. Macho, macho woman. After that old man. Come on, I'm not that old. So you're telling me Kidman had a plan to take out Mobius all this time? Actually, it was your wife's plan. Wait, Myra? So that's why she's here. She's part of Mobius. This is ridiculous. Gonna have to duck. Don't blow your back out. This isn't the time, Torres. I like this woman, though. You she know, gives kind of... You should be proud of your wife. She's compelling. She recruited me for this plan. I don't understand. Why would she join them? She found out they had Lily. And knew the only way to take them down was from the inside. So she joined up and waited for the right moment. All these years. That's where she was. Damn it. This is a lot to take in. I'm sure it is, but let's not lose focus. We've got to get over this. Can you help me? Yeah, of course. Ready? <laughs> Hold on, <sighs> I've got you. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine.
Hopefully there's something up there. Hey, you just gonna forget about me? What? You thought I'd leave you hanging like that? And she might have. <laughs> Damn, Sebastian, you can jump. Uh, you're a part of the plan now. The plan, right? Who else was involved in this little mutiny? Just four of us: me, Kidman, Myra, and Theodore. Theodore. Father Theodore. Father Theodore? I just call him Theodore Wallace. You know him? We've met. But he doesn't want to save Lily. He wants her for himself. Tried to talk me into hunting down Myra, too. He's the one who screwed everything up. How is this whole thing supposed to go? Once Myra and Theodore got Lily, Theodore and I were going to get her out while Myra stayed behind to take care of Mobius. Kidman stayed outside and make sure we got out of STEM safely. Shit, it was supposed to be easy. Nothing's ever easy. Yep, it's never a walk in the park, that's for sure. Oh no. The hell is that? What is it? Shh. Shit. We got trouble. Look. I say I don't really have binoculars. Follow me. Can't really look over there. I do have a, a sniper rifle, actually. See what type of weird things we got now. see so much for your safe house I wouldn't put my safe house in the open like that it's hidden but we've got to get past those things to get there you see that red banner behind that building yeah the hatch to my safe house is under it okay I'll take the lead stay low and keep behind me right but listen I've seen these things before don't get near them while they're on fire while they're on fire. So I guess they get put out, maybe? Oh, he's on fire. Okay, I see. And then when he's not on fire, we can silently kill him. That's probably how it goes. Which would be a good idea if it's a one kill. Put him down. It is perfect. Only unfortunate thing is we probably could not do that to the uh, guy with the flamethrower. There's another one. Can you can you pick that up? No, you don't want to. There we go. Oh, let me try to figure this out. My god, she's like walking around and they're like, hmm, don't know what's going on, which is fine. They're a little weird. We need to put this guy down. Oh, fuck me. I hide right here, right? Yeah, that works. Try to put this guy down. Hopefully his buddy doesn't hear. They kill his friend. And no, nope, we're good. Yeah, we're making this go down easy. Get that herb. We got plenty of herb. We can definitely make more. Health items if we need to. And it looks like the guy, the flamethrower guy, actually ran off or walked off. 
which is kind of weird. But I'm going to walk around here, kind of see if we can find anything of value, maybe a statue. It would not surprise me if there's a statue hidden about in here. So I want to kind of look around. There's something here. Was that a bottle? Let me check over here. And I think we're good. Don't really see it. There could be one here, just kind of like hidden about, but I don't want to waste too much time looking around. Okay, there's another one. Make sure there's nothing there. Okay, he's coming over here, he's looking. He stops there though. There is another one. So we can hide here. Try to get this guy. I'll say sil silence is the name of the game. I'm actually really good at the uh, you know the silent kills. Did someone see his buddy? Guess he did. Oh, there's two religious ones there. I am worried about them because I don't think I can kill both of them without one of them knowing that I, you know, killed their buddy. Okay, that's where we need to go. Because of her banner. But I kind of want to check out what's going on over here. I'm definitely going to want to kill both of those guys when I get the chance. Oh. I actually got up. Yeah, don't mind me. Get him. <laughs> this actually worked out perfect. Because one of them's still, you know, a religious guy. Due to the game's terrible AI, they kind of make it where our teammates are invisible. Which is great. They don't have to worry about us getting pissed off. And I think he's dead as well. Now we roll in with a pretty decent amount of uh, green jail. Can we check the house? Probably not of the fire. But I definitely want to check around here. Might be more flame guys. Oh. Hold up. Pouch upgrade for the sniper rifle. Just chilling right in there. Now I gotta be, you know, careful. Let me look over here. Got to keep on remembering to look into the back of vehicles. And her hidden or hatch, which isn't that hidden. I want to check over here, though. Damn, she's far away from anything. Alright, but I think we're good. I don't think we need to worry about anything. Pretty good, Sebastian. Managed to save some ammo. Yeah, we were silent on killing all of them. But it's good to know that we can actually put those guys down with like no problem. There's no place like home, but a safe house runs a close second. Listen, don't freak out at the amount of explosives I got in here. They're as safe as cookie dough. At least until I arm them. Well, it's good to have a backup plan. A plan C, you know, when everything goes bad. We can finally run again. So what are we going to do about Theodore? I don't know. He's insane. 
His hideout looks like an Inquisitor's dream home. I should be relieved that Myra has Lily instead of him, but... What? Myra has Lily? Yeah. But I'm not sure that's good news. She's... changed. This place seems to have affected her. She's hiding, trying to protect Lily from Theodore. And he'll tear this place apart to find them. If I can stop him, maybe Myra will come to her senses and we can get Lily out of here. So the plan is to take out Theodore? Yeah. But I have to find him first. How are you gonna do that? O'Neill helped me before. I'll call him. But I better give Kibben an update first. Right. But be careful what you say over that thing. She's probably in the control room with that lizard hovering over her. Sebastian? Where have you been? Did you find Stefano? I did more than that. I eliminated him. Good. And Lily? She slipped through my fingers again. I'm sorry to hear that. Any leads? The good news is that I've been in contact with Agent Torres. Her intel has been invaluable. That is good news. So what's the bad news? The bad news is there's someone more powerful than Stefano who wants to take this place over. And he needs Lily to do that. Torres told me you know him too. He's a real smooth talker. Damn. I think I know who you're talking about. I'll send some stuff to your room. That might help. Keep me posted. You know I'm here for you. I know. I trust you, Kidman. Okay. Time to get down to business. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. Come in. Huh. Something's wrong. I gotta try and find him. You should stay here and get your explosives and weapons ready. I'll need your help once I locate Theodore. Is there a way into the Merrill from here? Yeah, there's a Mobius computer in that room. It'll take you to exit 72. Great. I'll call you when I'm ready. Hang tough, Torres. Got it. Good luck, Sebastian. Alrighty. Chapter 11, Reconnecting. Oh, what do we have here? Machine gun. Oh, God damn it. I would really like a machine gun, by the way. A freeze bolt. Temporarily frozen on the big boys, but we can freeze the little ones, which isn't a bad deal. Ooh, she has all types of ammo and everything here. Definitely want to kind of like look around towards his journal. This journal is written in a neat feminine hand. The most recent entry reads as follow. Not sure how long I've been waiting for Myra and Theodore to return. Time is a sketchy concept inside STEM. Even more so since Lily escaped. All I know is that they should have returned by now. If I die in here, I just want whoever finds this diary to know that I went in willingly. I did something a long time ago. Something that I regret. And that's why I'm here now. Waiting to take Lily out of here. This is my last chance at redemption. And maybe a shot at starting my life over. Either way, I'm committed to this plan. I'll see it through to the end no matter what. But it's obvious something went wrong. If that's the case, I should keep an eye out for help, like Hibben told me to. But this place is falling apart around me. I hope I can find him if he gets sent inside. So the journal seems to say she's telling the truth. Are we on health? We don't need to drink coffee. Everything else seems to be good. We're going to save here, of course. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. And the next one, we'll go see what happened to O'Neill. He's probably dead or his hideout has been burnt. More than likely. But yeah, hope you enjoyed and see y'all later.